Stephen A., of course, I'm starting with you here. What are your thoughts on Jackie Robinson's impact now that we reflect back? Well, listen, obviously, when we think about uh, particularly uh, more so the NFL than the NBA, we think about the integration of the sport in terms of uh, how it's, pre it's predominantly African-American. We've got a lot of black athletes uh, that are in the sport, that are the faces of the sport, uh, that are making an exorbitant amount of dollars. Uh, and obviously, when you think about that, you think about guys like Jackie Robinson integrating the sport of baseball and what he had to endure in order to facilitate guys like Larry Doby ultimately, uh, you know, coming in the base in the Major League Baseball, Kurt Flood and what he was able to do, uh, you know, in, in, in his years uh, and so many others as well. And so when you look at it from an historical perspective, I don't just look at the greatness of the player. I focus on the level of adversity they had to go through, not just to integrate the sport, but to perform in the sport and, and, and at what it did to create other opportunities, not just for other athletes, but people like myself. Because if those black athletes weren't playing and being so successful in the world of sports, then there wouldn't be individuals like myself who had an opportunity uh, to engage in dialogue, to commentate and engage in pundancy and pontificate and things of that nature. So I'm incredibly grateful and thankful to the Jackie Robinsons of the world for doing what they did to assist and help elevate our community, meaning the African-American community and the entire world of sports uh, in order to get it to where it is today. And let me talk to you a little bit about the effect of Jackie Robinson, the immediate effect on the, on the kind of competitive fortunes of the Brooklyn Dodgers. It's not a coincidence that 1947 and 1957, the Dodgers were in the World Series like almost every year. The Giants had a couple of years, but the Dodgers were constantly challenging the Yankees in the World Series, and that's partly, largely, because when you do the right thing, there are the right thing to do is not only the ethical moral right thing to do it's also usually an advantage you know when one group of people is being excluded there is that means a talent pool is being excluded and the dodgers they they take jackie robinson from the negro leagues and roy campanella not long after that and they're dominant by the way you brought up larry doby and mike greenberg did earlier on get up Stephen. i'm so glad you did because later in that season larry doby was the first african-american american league player and he joined the Cleveland Indians, who were usually in fifth or sixth place. And then Satchel Paige, maybe the greatest pitcher ever, who was ancient by that time, in his late 40s, joins Cleveland. And the Cleveland Indians become a powerhouse. They win. They, they won, you know, 111 games in the early 50s. They were in first place. They were sometimes, a lot of times, in second place to the Yankees. But an absolute powerhouse because they tapped an untapped talent pool. The, the moral of my story here is not only is the ethical and moral thing the right thing to do on, on ethical and moral grounds, it's usually also an advantage when others are not behaving that way. And I would also like to add and piggyback off that point, uh, Max, to point out this. What, what Jackie Robinson and Larry Doby, the Satchel Pages of the world, even the Kurt Floods of the world, endured in terms of adversity, uh, it's, it's, it's significantly different and more profound than what we label adversity to be today. It's not to say that there are not adverse circumstances that the modern-day professional athletes, along with those in the media and beyond, don't have to endure. Clearly, there are adverse situations and challenges that we all have to overcome, but it is nothing compared to what pioneers like Jackie Robinson had to endure. Chances are there's an awful lot of people in today's sports world that could not have stomached what they stomached in order to help us all elevate. And then we have to remember that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.